Okay, so we have a fully charged AR drone and uh, it was kind of weird when I first I just installed the latest version of the AR drone software on the iPhone 4 um, I haven't played with this at all so I have no idea what the hell to expect but interesting thing is yeah, kind of cool. I'm walking around, walking around. Oh, look. There's me. As I'm walking towards it. Alright, cool. So, I'm going to get behind it. And we're going to see what we can see. Let's see if I can actually get this thing to fucking take off. Looks cool. Hopefully it works. I don't know. Been reading, been reading a lot of bad things about software upgrades. Uh, anyway, I've got the latest firmware upgrade as of April first night, a uh, little April first, twenty eleven. So, um, yeah, this is going to be actually pretty hard to do, holding the camera and flying the AR drone. Okay, that was a complete and utter failure. So this uh, kind of sounds like the same thing that people were having problems with where only one, there was like one motor that wouldn't go. Uh, I'm not sure what the fucking deal is with that. And it's interesting, all the lights under here were green and now they're red. tells me there's kind of a software issue. Hmm. Uh, I'll get back to you. Anyway, first test flight, bogus. I think Parrot needs to get their shit together. Alright, that's it for the moment. Okay, so, found the problem. One of these uh, pods is defective. Um, I guess I shouldn't have gone with a uh, low price seller. So uh, I won't mention any names, but I started checking the uh, props. And as you'll notice, these turn just fine. There's that one. This is the problem child. And originally, that particular piece was not where I put it. Um, it was basically down, like beyond the end of the foot there. And I thought it was just, I don't know, something that they did for some crazy tracking something or other. Well, apparently, uh, the one that I got, uh, yeah, I mean, you really can't turn the thing without stripping the gears. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a, the motor is the, uh, is linked to the, um, little metal gear. And then the plastic gear is obviously what spins the prop, but it looks like the motor's completely seized up. So this guy's kind of lame. The guy that sold it to me. I'm thinking he probably knew it was defective and thus the discounted price on Amazon.com. So, I would recommend to anybody thinking about buying a Parrot AR drone to not go with the low ballers. So, yeah. Uh, basically, I'll be returning this. And hopefully, uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and order another one. And hopefully, that one works. If not, I think Parrot sucks. That's, uh, yeah, that's the end of my review.